last time you were talking about John Lennon, uh, you said that he had this magic which you did not quite possess. And well, I mean, I've never. Well, to be honest, I would never like to put myself at any kind of parallel with John Lennon at all because he was just the greatest, as far as I was concerned. So I mean, that's that done with. I mean, you know, there's no way. I mean, but at the same time, I I, I didn't exactly say that I didn't have. It's not a matter of less talent or more talent. It's just that certain people are capable of doing certain things better than uh, somebody else. And I just feel that I'm not equipped to do certain things that John Lennon did. And I don't think anybody should, because John Lennon was just um, you know, unique and, and, and a one-off. And uh, that's the way it is. And I, I just um, I admire John Lennon very much. And that's as far as I want to go. I just want to then think about myself and put myself across in the way that I want to think of. And in terms of peace messages, I'm not it, so I don't want to do it. Well, how did you feel when you first heard that he, he had assassinated? Well, because I was shocked. You know, I was just um, dumbfounded, and, and what do you do? I mean, it's just um, something that you think will always happen to somebody, or you, or whatever, and it just happened to somebody. I mean, it's just uh, one of those things. What can you do? Well, I'm just shocked. and. Disbelief. There was disbelief, and um, life goes on. I don't like to write message songs because I'm not sort of politically orientated. I'm not. I'm not like a John Lennon or a Stevie Wonder. I just feel that I like my songs are just basically commercial love songs, and I like to put my emotional, my emo emotional talents into that. I don't want to change the world. I don't want to talk about peace or any any kind of sort of political content because I just don't feel I'm motivated that way. I'm aware of what goes on, but I still write a song the way I feel it. And if it, if it means that a song that I like uh, needs something that's old fashioned, I will still do it. Because I mean, I never let a song down. I mean, the song comes first. I hate actually trying to analyze my songs to the full. It's like people still ask me what Bohemian Rhapsody is about, and I say I don't know, because I think it it it, it loses the myth and it, it sort of it it actually sort of um, ruins a, a kind of um, imagination or whatever, or something that people have built up.